the shadow of succession. Hezbollah confirms death of likely heir. The Middle East woke to a seismic shift in the balance of power. Hezbollah, the Lebanese Shia militant group, confirmed the death of a key figure. Hashem Safiyadeen, a prominent leader and potential successor to Hassan Nasrallah, was killed in an Israeli airstrike. This confirmation sent shockwaves throughout the region and beyond. It marked a dramatic escalation in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. The strike, which targeted a Hezbollah facility in the Bakar Valley, underscored the volatile situation in Lebanon. It also raised concerns about a wider conflagration. The international community watched nervously, hoping to avert a full-blown war. The death of Safi Adin, a figure shrouded in secrecy but wielding immense influence, has cast a long shadow over the region's future. Hashem Safi Adin, a life in the resistance. Born into a family deeply entrenched in the resistance against Israel, Hashem Safi Adina's path was forged early. He rose through the ranks of Hezbollah, earning a reputation for his strategic mind and unwavering commitment. His influence extended far beyond the battlefield. Safi Adin was seen as a key architect of Hezbollah's social and political programs, solidifying its support base among the Shia community. He was a trusted advisor to Hassan Nasrallah Hezbollah's Secretary General. His counsel was often sought on critical matters, from military strategy to delicate political negotiations. Safi Adin's loyalty to the cause and his deep understanding of the complexities of the region made him an invaluable asset to Hezbollah. His loss leaves a void that will be difficult to fill. Airstrike in Baalbek the fog of war. Details surrounding the Israeli airstrike that claimed Safi Adin's life remain shrouded in secrecy. The Israeli Defense Forces, or IDF, confirmed conducting operations in the Bakar Valley, a Hezbollah stronghold. However, they stopped short of claiming responsibility for the specific strike. This strategic ambiguity is characteristic of Israeli military policy designed to maintain an element of surprise and deniability. Witnesses described a scene of chaos and destruction. The pre-dawn strike targeted a building believed to house a Hezbollah command center. The intensity of the blast suggested the use of precision-guided munitions. The timing and location of the strike, coupled with the presence of a high-value target like Safi Adin, pointed to a well-planned and executed operation. Hezbollah responds vows of retaliation. The confirmation of Safi Adin's death was met with an outpouring of grief and anger among Hezbollah supporters. The group vowed swift and decisive retaliation against Israel. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, in an emotional televised address, promised to avenge the killing. He declared that Israel had crossed a red line and would pay a heavy price. The nature and timing of Hezbollah's response remain unclear. The group has a range of options at its disposal, from launching rockets into Israel to carrying out attacks against Israeli interests abroad. One thing is certain, Hezbollah, bound by its ideology of resistance, and driven by a thirst for revenge, will seek to strike back. The future of Hezbollah. A power vacuum. The death of Hashem Safi Adin deals a significant blow to Hezbollah. He was not only a brilliant strategist, but also a unifying figure within the organization. His loss creates a void in the leadership structure potentially sparking a power struggle within the group. While Hezbollah has a deep bench of experienced commanders, 
None possess the same combination of strategic acumen and political clout that Safiuddin had. It remains to be seen how Hezbollah will adapt to this loss. Will it choose a new leader who mirrors Safiuddin's approach, or will it opt for a different direction? This period of uncertainty within Hezbollah has the potential to reshape the group's trajectory and impact its future actions. Regional stability, a house of cards. The assassination of Hashem Safiuddin injects a dangerous dose of volatility into an already combustible region. The Middle East is a tinderbox of tensions, with long-standing conflicts and simmering rivalries. The potential for this targeted killing to spark a wider conflagration is very real. Hezbollah, with its ties to Iran, plays a significant role in the regional power dynamic. Its actions often have ripple effects across the region. The group's vow of retaliation against Israel could easily draw in other actors, escalating the situation beyond control. The international community must act swiftly to contain the fallout from this event and prevent a wider war. The world reacts. Calls for calm and restraint. The international community reacted to the news of Hashem Safiuddin's death with a mixture of condemnation and concern. The United States, while expressing support for Israel's right to defend itself, urged restraint from all sides. The European Union echoed these sentiments, calling for a de-escalation of tensions and a return to dialogue. Russia, a key player in the region, condemned the airstrike and called for an investigation into the incident. China expressed concern about the escalation of violence and called for all parties to exercise restraint. The United Nations Security Council convened an emergency meeting to discuss the situation, reflecting the global anxiety surrounding this event. Diplomatic efforts, a race against time. In the aftermath of the airstrike, diplomatic channels went into overdrive. World leaders scrambled to contain the situation and prevent a wider conflict. The United States, leveraging its relationships with both Israel and Hezbollah, initiated shuttle diplomacy efforts. The goal to secure a ceasefire and create space for dialogue. France, with its historical ties to Lebanon, also played a key role in mediating between the parties. The European Union mobilized its diplomatic corps, engaging with regional actors to de-escalate tensions. The success of these diplomatic efforts is far from guaranteed. The situation remains highly volatile and the risk of miscalculation or unintended escalation is high. A crossroads in the Middle East. The assassination of Hashem Safiuddin marks a pivotal moment in the Middle East. The region stands at a crossroads with the potential for both escalation and de-escalation. The coming days and weeks will be crucial in determining which path the region will take. The international community must seize this moment to push for a peaceful resolution. This requires engaging with all parties, understanding their grievances and working towards a sustainable solution. Failure to do so risks plunging the region into a deeper and more devastating